Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create the anchor bolts for your steel columns in Tecla structures and we are going to get started right away. I'll go straight to uh, applications and components here. This is where this is the, the route to your library. Now I'll go ahead to the, the this last button here and click on it and what I'm going to do is just go to to anchor bolts maybe anchor bolts. let me just type anchor bolts and this way we get the variety of anchor bolts so we basically use this anchor bolt straight anchor anchor straight rod so i'll double click on it and prior to double click on it you, you need to set out uh, center to center of your bolts um, we have 150 millimeter center to center of the bolts and we have 200 center to center of the bolts. So if you take a look on the screen here, let me just minimize that. If you take a look on the screen here, we, I have my four points here. So let me just go to edit here and go to measure and I'll measure this center to that center. You can see that is 200. And how to create the points is very simple. Just click on that. That I want to get rid of it first so that I show you how to do that. We first of all, create one, uh, create one point. Once you've created one point, select on it, right, right click and come to special uh, special copy and, and uh, just snap on that spot and put your cursor on a straight line or snap on a straight line like here, like, like on that spot. And then type the offset dimension, maybe it's 200 uh, like I've said and just go ahead and click OK. It will snap on the same same spot. So if you take if you've come here and measure that, snap on that and snap on this, you can see at the bottom end here, it is 200 millimeter. So I want to offset this in this direction by another 200 millimeter. Select on that, then press control and select on this. Then right click and come to special copy and snap on that spot and just put your cursor on a, on a straight line to define the path you, you intend to follow or, or you, are, you, you, you are going to follow or just and place your cursor right there. Make sure it is on a straight line because if you put it on a, on a, on a, on on a line that is not straight you will take that direction so i'll just feed the offset dimension then uh, press enter on my keyboard or just click that okay button right there so these are the markings that will help me put my bolts and then create the anchor bolts then this will be submitted to the workshop for fabrication and be submitted to site now let me just offset these points up by another dimension maybe 400 the bolts go deep into the concrete by 400 millimeter then i'll right click here and come to special copy i'll pick the option of linear then uh, i'll use the z-axis because the z-axis pointing upward then feed the offset off, off, offset dimension i'll feed 450 right there and click copy and click on ok button you can see our four points up here are you asking why are they red it's red because they're off the surface of the grid they're blue because they are right on the surface of grid surface of grid here it is zero zero level so red means that we, we, are, we are slightly off the zero zero level now when I come to applications and component here I'll pick the anchor straight bolt macro here and I'll go straight to start following the instruction here pick the position my first position will be this top end and snap at the bottom end here and I'll come here and place another one here and come here and place another one right here and come all the way here and place another one right here and we have the bolts in place so we can close that and now we have to work within these parameters and make our anchor bolts look slightly or more presentable now I want to place I want to put a rod here two rods that retain these two bolts in the position so that when they're being well uh, um, the, when they're being cast when the casting are being done they don't change the position or they don't wobble or they, they, they get a rhombus position uh, a rhombus shape which might be very very messy when when it comes to uh, erection of the of the columns now we'll put the rods around them to enhance the rigidity and to retain the measurements that were placed during the fabrication at the workshop now i'll come here i'll show you how to place the rods that will retain them in position 
of 200 center to center both ways now i'll come to steel here and pick on the beam right here then i'll snap right here then right there that is not the best option i'll come to poly beam snap right there and snap right there and move all the way here and snap right here and snap right here that's the wrong path we are following pick on that spot and we'll snap on that edge and snap on that edge and come all the way here and we'll snap on this edge and snap on that edge and snap on that edge move all the way and snap on that edge snap on that edge and that edge and move all the way and snap on that edge too snap there and snap here and we can move straight to our, our initial spot where we started and we can snap right there and press the middle button on the mouse and this is how it looks so if i turn it around like this you'll be able to see it's not really uh running across uh the edges of our bolts the, the outer part of our bolts is slightly inside so we can double click on that then come to position here and on depth we, we can click uh, front or behind and click that so, so you can still you can still see it slightly slightly inside we can try another option and click that and then you can see uh, it's slightly it's outside now let me just turn that around so they can see whatever we are trying to do and this is how it looks and the size of our rod is 12 millimeter we can use a riba or or uh, or any rod as long as it meets whatever you require to retain the, the four bolts in position so when doing the casting the bolts do not play or mess up with the center cent center to center uh, dimensions now I want to copy this uh, we need two of this one here and one slightly at the bottom end here now I'll select on this let me first of all get rid of that because you don't want to use that now now once I've selected this like that right click and come to special copy here or special move slightly we'll come to special move and I uh, want to shift it slightly down by 100 right there and remember we are moving against the Z axis so we'll prefix this 100 by a negative sign so we click move right there and that's how it look now select on it one once again or still our selection is still active then I'll right click and come to special copy and click linear then come here and just type 200 because we want to shift down by 200 or 150 would, would work much better for us in this case because we can exhaust the full uh, height of our bolts now well prefix that dimension with a negative sign then go ahead and click copy there we are and right click and click interrupt to terminate that process this is how it looks and this is how our our anchor bolts look for anchor bolt for 200 by 200 center to center both ways this is 200 and this is 200 that is 200 for the uh, for our steel column basis now this is how it will look and this is how it's done and you can uh, generate a 3d of this uh, i mean isometric v, uh, view of this and you can also generate a drawing a 2d drawing for this and submit to the workshop for fabrication purposes and the machining purposes uh, you can you, you can uh, submit this one to, to your to your lathe guys to to cut the threads cut the bolts and uh, do everything as per you uh, as per details given uh, on the drawings thanks a lot for watching this video or this channel if you have it if it is your first time uh, to this channel please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe i'm always limba and let's meet then bye bye